Good afternoon, Mr. John. How are you today? Good afternoon, Ms. Sheila. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm glad you were able to come in. Um, kind of give me, um, how did you find out about the position that we have posted? Well, working in the natural gas business uh, for many years now, I have come to a network where I've got my networking goals and what I want to do. And, uh, happened to look at the website and find this job, and I think I'd be really suitable for it. Okay, well, what, uh, what can you tell me about as far as uh, the work ethic that you have and also uh, the experience that you may have with natural gas? Okay, uh, well, growing up in this business, you know, my dad is a, he's a natural gas pipeliner, has been for years, and I grew up in this, and I really enjoy the field that I'm already in, working the distribution side of the company, of the of natural gas aspect. So, uh, you know, working working for Wilmot Gas in Hattiesburg, I uh, done uh, mainline installments, service installments, um, lining up pilots, water heaters, stuff like that, uh, stove, natural gas appliances, um, shovel shoot for customers they have problems inside of their residence or businesses, finding gas leaks, first, first responder odor calls, uh, emergency one call locates, stuff like that. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very well immersed in this business and that's, I want to stay in this business for a long time. Well John, what are one of the what are one of the highlights or one of the one things that you enjoy the most with the current position that you're at that you could bring over to uh Boardwalk? The uh what I like now is just being able to learn more and more every day because natural gas it, it evolves with so much aspects of the arena that we're working in. You know, like from learning from going to going to a rectifier basically to read a, to get readings, or you may go do a one call. It's like changing every day. You never do one thing at one day. It's always revolving and always going from here to there without actually doing one thing. So basically you don't get stuck doing one thing. There's more to do, you know, on a daily basis that, that, that you would become more aspect to do. You may want to go in that career field, just whatever, whatever, you know, at that time you feel interested in doing. What do you think one, one area that you, um, I don't want to say struggle with or maybe dislike mm -hmm. about um, the current position that you're in, or the even if you were to move over into this position, what would be one of the hurdles that you would need to uh, work with? Well, I like I like to get more on the electrical side of it because there's a lot of electrical sides to the when it comes to measurement or uh, rectifier poles, reading or rectifier or pipe protection. You know, that's, that's a struggle of mine, it has been. I'm not electricity, I make gas but for me to be. But, uh, you know, I like to be more versed in that. Um, you know, just, I don't like conflict within our area, within our, you know, I, I think conflict inside a business is always bad. And I think we need to all work together to, to achieve the common goal, which is everybody going home safely at the end of the day. I agree, safety is the, um, the forefront of what we do. Mm -hmm. we, we do you know, move gas from point A to B, but making sure we do things, uh, you know, correct, safe, mm -hmm. and compliance. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that um, communication is a, is a strong part of this position? Oh, communication is key in any position that, that you would do in any aspect of life. Uh, communication with your, with your peers, with your uh, uh, supervisors, whoever that may be, without communication, then you know what will what will be what will be our goal to as we go on from day to day. You know you got to be able to communicate professionally and personally with whoever you're working with. Because if you don't have good communication in this field, as you know, something could go wrong and go wrong very badly. So let's say that you um, are extended the position that we have available mm -hmm. here, and uh, you say you have experience in one calls. Mm -hmm. Let's say that you go out for a locate mm -hmm. and you have a landowner mm -hmm. uh, issue how would you handle that like i say communication is key uh their land is their land you know we but we have a we have a right to be there on the right of way so if we have a landowner you would do i would be as courteous as i can be explain what i'm doing explain while i'm what i'm doing while i'm doing it to make sure that he or she is comfortable with me being on their property because because our only it's not only protecting us, it's protecting them as well. That is correct. So we protect uh, people, pro uh, property, and environment. That's right. So, um, what are um, what are some of your ambitions, or say a five ten year goal, mm -hmm. uh, as far as in within the uh, natural gas industry? 
Well, I, you know, I like to, I like to move up as far as I can go. You know, I mean, the sky's the limit in this business. You can be, you can stay stagnant in one position, become, become the best you can be at that position, and then move on to something like your, uh, maybe like where you're sitting in ten years. You know, I mean, I like to be, I like to be, I like to have my name out there and a good reputation, so I can be able to move up. Whether you know, hopefully it's with this company. You know. But I, but I want to stay in the natural gas business, and I, you know, I would want to stay here. Okay. Well, what we'd like to do is, um, you know, take this interview. Uh, we have other applicants that are applying mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, possibly call you back for a second interview okay. and uh, see where this could lead. Okay. Well, I appreciate I you, you I, coming in. I thank you for having me, and I hope hope it all works out. And I enjoy. I will enjoy working with you. Well, I appreciate. Thank you very that. much. Thank you.